Hello everybody, welcome to the next video in the series. So the motto of this video is to experiment with the curves that can be transformed by deconstructing the points at z-axis so that we remap the heights of it. And so let's get on to this pavilion. The first step is to construct an ellipse and then divide the curve to like 100 to 200 points based on the design. Then using a graph mapper, we have to remap the heights of those points in the z-axis. The same thing can be done to the second ellipse which is moved in the z-axis to a certain height which can be of different number sliders as per design. After this we can loft the two curves to arrive at the outer surface of the design. The third step is to create a series of scale surfaces of the opted surface using a graph mapper and this can be done using a scale component and adding a range component to the graph mapper. This would provide us a series of surfaces offset inwards as to complete the root structure.
The next step is to divide the outermost and the innermost top curves and join them using lines and then pipe them as their design consideration. The next step is to give Voronoi pattern to these outermost surface and so this can be done using Voronoi component. To do this we need a plane of the similar dimensions of the outermost surface and then we can use surface morph and then we can map the Voronoi pattern to that surface. The step involved in this are uh, we have to have populate geometry so that we have Voronoi, uh, we have points for the Voronoi component and to have a small scale knobs curve I need to divide that into 3000 points which is a lot. This is because I wanted small Voronoi pattern cells. Then add Voron and then add Voronoi to these points having planar surfaces as the boundary. After this step we have to remove the extreme points and just have the points in the center. So to do that we need to use the cull pattern component.
after removing all the points we need to scale the inner ones using remap numbers and then the scale component the scale varying from like around 0.15 to 0.9 that will bring about a good pattern The last step is to morph it to the outermost surface and that's it. So this is how the output of this script looks like. So thank you for watching the video and please hit like and subscribe. And any suggestions or feedback would be helpful and appreciated. Thank you. Have a nice day.